Hey guys, it's Rachel, and in today's video, I'm going to be um, doing a DIY on Passion Tea Lemonade, the Starbucks way, with raspberry syrup. Now, normally when I order the drink at Starbucks, I get classic syrup as well, but Starbucks lemonade is not pre-sweetened, so that's why I get the classic syrup, um, but the le lemonade powder that we're using in this video is already pre-sweetened, um, so you don't need to make the classic syrup with it. Um, also, I don't have my eyebrows filled in today just because I just filmed a middle school makeup tutorial. So if you want to see how to get this look, um, it's already up on my channel, so I will have it linked below. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I'm not going to do an outro, so I'm just going to go ahead and do what I would say now. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you try this out because I would love to know what you guys think of it. It's delicious. It's so, so good. Also, please make sure to subscribe if you have not already. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with what ingredients you're going to need. So the first ingredient you're going to need is Tazo Ice Passion Tea or just Ice Passion Tea. And then you're going to need some lemonade. Any kind of lemonade will work, but you just want equal parts tea and lemonade. And then you're going to need some water and just normal white grain sugar. Um, you're going to need either fresh or frozen raspberries. It doesn't matter. I'm using frozen. Okay, so we're going to start by putting our water on like high basically and you're going to pour two quarts of water in and this is to make a gallon. So just pouring the two quarts of water and while the water is boiling we're going to make our raspberry syrup. So you're going to turn your heat on medium high and you do equal parts water and sugar. So I'm doing a cup of water and a cup of sugar. And you just want to stir this and wait for it to dissolve completely before you add in any raspberries. So for raspberries, I don't really measure. I just kind of eyeball it. Um, the more raspberries, the better the raspberry flavor, the stronger the flavor. So I'm just pouring in some raspberries, adding them in. I like to add quite a bit of raspberries because I like it to be a very strong raspberry flavor. That's just me. And this is basically what it's going to look like right when you first add in the raspberries. So this is what it looks like after the raspberries have been sitting for a while and you do want to leave them for a while and it's going to get a dark red color. And then I'm taking a hand mixer and just blending them all together. It's still going to be kind of chunky. You're not going to be able to get it completely smooth, but um, you just kind of want to break up some of the raspberries. So just keep blending. Okay, now our water is boiling now, and I thought it looked cool, so I let it fog up the camera lens. And you want to put two of the passion tea bags, because each bag makes a quart, and I missed part of the pitcher, but you're going to pour your water into the pitcher with the tea bags, and you're going to let that steep for five-ish minutes. Okay, and this is what it looks like after it's been blended and it's sat for a little bit longer, and you're going to go ahead and strain that, because you want to get all of those seeds out. Um, be very careful because this is like super, super hot. Okay, and then I'm just straining it some more and then you have your raspberry syrup, which is really good by the way. So that's what the leftover stuff looks like and you can go ahead and throw that out because you won't need it. I mean, I guess you could save it if you want to. And that's what the finished raspberry syrup looks like. It's very hot, so just be very, very, very careful with all of this. Okay, so now we're going to take out the tea bags, and you don't want to like squeeze these too much because then that gets the bitter flavor of the tea, um, which you don't want, but I mean, I pushed it on the side a little bit because I didn't want it to leak everywhere, and I'm just throwing those away because you don't need those any longer. So we are just throwing them away, and you can see the tea has steeped a lot and become a really dark red color. And now we're going to pour in our lemonade packet, and the lemonade packet is to make two quarts as well, which is why we're making a gallon. And then we're just going to add in another two quarts of water. And now we're going to stir it up um, to make sure all the powder from the lemonade is dissolved in the tea. And we're going to put it in the refrigerator because you want to let it get cool because it is supposed to be a cold drink. So we're just going to leave that for a couple hours. And now we're going to take it out because I want a glass of Passion Tea Lemonade. 
and I'm getting my glass and you want to fill it all the way to the top with ice just like they do at Starbucks And I'm gonna pour in my passion tea, which is seriously so good, guys. You have to try this. And for this size glass of tea, I do three tablespoons of the raspberry syrup. Um, so basically, it's just trial and error. You can see how sweet you like it. Everyone's different. I like three tablespoons in a glass this size. And that's it. Put a straw in and drink up. It's so good, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>